What's going on everybody? I'm Robert Arrington. This is deer meat for dinner and that is a deer rib, a venison rib. I just took Dylan, Cameron and Jordan up to Maryland on their very first hunt. Now I know some of you may have just watched this video. There were some discrepancies in it so I had to take it down but this is the hunt where this deer came from. What's up everybody? I am here at Fort Lauderdale International Airport. I've got all the boys. We're heading to Maryland. Going to Maryland. Maryland. <laughs> Maryland. <laughs> you need some yummy favorite. We have arrived into Maryland. We're here getting ready to get a car at Enterprise. And I can't remember your name, but one of our fans is always telling us about Enterprise. We pretty much use Enterprise all the time anyway. So we're gonna get a truck and then we've got like a 35, 40 mile drive. Dude, it's going down, you bunch of clowns. We'll make it go up. No, it's gonna go down. Wait for the one that goes up. There's a reason it has an arrow. <laughs> Traveling with these clowns is absolutely, it's painful at times. It's a little cold here, but it's all worth it. We'll go shoot a big buck tomorrow. Well, we're trying to drive through Washington here without getting into an accident and without getting lost. But it's always cool seeing stuff like the, you know, the Washington Monument, the Lincoln Memorial, and Capitol Hill coming up. It's just cool stuff that I'm typically never around. Let's go. Oh, Great shot. Oh my god, that's a, that's a nice one. Awesome. That's awesome. So cool. It was worth the cold. I kind of felt like, you know, the app, the deer hunter app. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> Great shot. Oh, buddy. That's so cool. That's the gun. We've been out spending so much time getting ready. Whether you're a new hunter or you've been hunting all your life, anytime you shoot one, you gotta give them time. So we've given them about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and uh, we're gonna ease over here real quiet. Go to right where we shot the deer, find blood, trail them up. That's where we were sitting. The deer was standing right in here somewhere. Good job, son. I think it was well worth the cold wait. Yeah. I said, nice one. I didn't even think we were gonna be able to shoot him in all honesty. He was running so fast after that doe. I think he ran off into the bushes back there. I thought he was for sure gone. But then he circled back around and we stopped him. And got him down. First buck ever, huh? Yep. That's awesome, man. Congratulations, Cam, that's a great buck. Fantastic, what an awesome experience that was. And later that same day, Dylan, Cameron's brother, got his first deer as well. So congratulations to both of you guys. Now, let's cook some ribs. I've been hunting 
my whole life. I've been to deer camps all over the country and deer ribs are the most underutilized piece of meat on an entire deer. I can promise you that. Now I know some of you are probably saying, well, I use the ribs. I know, that, that's great. But overall, ribs are the most underutilized. That, that's on big deer, small deer, all deer. So I'm gonna show you a way to turn ribs into a specialty. Check this out. In the bottom of this, I've got some flour. We wanna just cut these ribs out, just like that. Just cut this right off like that. All right, so here we have all of our ribs. They're individually cut up just like that. Nice. Original Everglades. And we're going to season them up real nice. Let's. Oh yeah, get some of that all over there. That's just flour. And I wanna season it real nice. We'll put a bunch of Everglades in there. Good. And then throw some ribs in here, just like that. Put that on there, put this on here. Then you just mm. perfect. Okay, so we're right at 325 degrees. Come over here, throw some of them rascals right in there. Look at that, y'all. Man, that looks good. All right, so while I'm cooking, I wanna let you know, Outdoor Republic is a pretty small company. They're over in the west coast of Florida. They're great friends of ours and I love their brand. They make really awesome hats. They make really cool shirts. Just a really cool brand altogether. It's about the outdoor republic. Not hunting, not fishing, but the outdoors. And they've been getting tons and tons of orders from you guys, from Deer Meat for Dinner fans. So if you're thinking about getting an Outdoor Republic shirt or hat for Christmas, be sure to run, run over to their website. It's outdoorrepublic.net and put your order in because if you wait till the very last moment, they might not have your size or they might not have your style. So basically, I'm just saying, if you're gonna do it, go on over there soon and do it because they're a great company. And I guarantee you after Christmas this year, a lot of your friends will have some of these shirts. All right, you guys, so while the ribs cook out there, I wanna show you, this is the home that I grew up in. And this was my room. This was my room right here. And I would look out that window at night and just think, I wanna be outside. Here's a collage that my mom made. These are just a, I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's me, my older brother, Aubrey. That's my first buck, it's a five pointer. I killed him up near Ryan, Georgia. That's me with a little alligator I caught way back in the day on the Monreve Ranch. That's me with a buck that I killed with my shotgun in the Corbett area. This is me playing cowboy when I was just a little bitty kid. That's me and my dad. That's my dad, Walt. That's me. That's a, a hog he shot with his bow and arrow. I watched him shoot that. That's me with my first boat. That's me and my little brother, Gabe. His little two horsepower motor that Bob Bates gave me. There's a snook when I was a kid just outside Jupiter Inlet. That's my first snook that I ever caught. That's me right there. That's me with Dad, Aubrey. 
And that, right there, 38 years ago, laying right there. There's a lot of, a lot of history, a lot of roots in this house. Oh, buck deer. This isn't pretend. This is who we are and what we do. Now let's go take these ribs off the fire. And I just realized I left my stinking dogs outside with the ribs. You were doing a good job out there, huh? I thought for sure some of these were gonna be gone. Woo! Check out that loving goodness. Now, take you some kosher salt, just sprinkle it right on top there. Not a ton. And that is literally one rack of ribs in about a third of the other side off of one deer that wasn't even that big. You got these two halves right here, just like that. We'll split them up. And we're gonna put this on here. All right. Those are dry. No barbecue sauce. And we take some Everglades mopping sauce. This stuff is legit. And we're just gonna let it fall in love. Woo! Whammy. Now we're ready to go to a party dry on top, mopped on the bottom, love all around. That's what I'm talking about. This is the big mango tree right in front of my mom and dad's yard. This is the yard I grew up in. You see all these bobcats around here? That's what my dad and my brother own is a bobcat business it's called Walt's Bobcat. They've been in business since like 1976. This is what supported our family. and. I grew up in a family where my mom and dad have been married since, basically since high school. And they taught us all about the outdoors. They taught us about loving one another. They took us to church. And uh, they were unbelievable role models. They're role models to us, the way I want to be a role model to my children, Ari and Emma, and to my wife, Sarah. I came over here today because I wanted to cook some food and use my dad's cooker. That's a uh, Bayou Classic fryer, and it works really good. But um, I just appreciate all y'all being a part of our channel and a part of our lives. These little ribs are worth so much. They come out nice and crispy and just delicious. Chew it right off the bone. Mmm. So wonderful. And believe it or not, small deer with just a little bit of meat on the ribs are amazing like this because the meat becomes sort of crispy and you can pull it off and it's just, it's like fried deer jerky. Mm. This food, it's what it's all about. So I uh, sure do appreciate you guys watching today. I love you and there's a lot more coming up. Let me know, click thumbs up if you want to see some small game catch cleaning cooks like squirrel, rabbit, dove, quail, stuff like that. So give me a shout. Love you guys, you're the best. We gone.